good morning to all my dear students of class 1a and b so today i am here again to start a new lesson in your english 2 everyone can have your book page number 40 for the reference so the name of the lesson is tumbling it is a short poem it is a very short poem it's just eight line poem so the name of the poem is tumbling t u m b l i n g it is pronounced as tumbling what is it pronounced as it is pronounced as tumbling what is the meaning of tumbling now tumbling means to fall in an uncontrolled way like for example while playing sometimes while playing you all fall right suddenly you all fall you don't realize only so to fall suddenly in an uncontrolled way you try to control yourself to uh, that so that you will not fall but you will not be able to control yourself sometimes right that is known as tumbling to fall suddenly and you are not able to control yourself that is known as tumbling so the meaning of tumbling is to fall in uncontrolled way the meaning of tumbling is to fall in uncontrolled way uncontrolled means when you are not able to control yourself that is known as uncontrolled okay so let's get started with the poem in jumping and tumbling we spend the whole day till night by arriving has finished our play so you can see in the book there are these three small small kids like you all so what they are saying that they spend the whole day in jumping and tumbling whole day they are playing they do not rest for the whole day whole day from morning till afternoon till evening till the night arrives they play they play stops only when night arrives so they stop playing only when the night arrives so so in this first paragraph they are saying that in jumping and tumbling we spend the whole day till the night by arriving has finished our play so they are saying whole day we are playing without without any break whole day we are playing from morning till afternoon till evening we stop our play only when the night arrives so when do the children stop playing at night okay only when the night arrives okay but rest for the whole day they are playing so look at the next page now what then one and all there is no more to be said as we tumbled all day so we tumbled to bed so they are saying we have nothing to say one and all none we have nothing to say as you all know that we were tumbling the whole day we were playing we were jumping we were falling we were doing all the play activity outside the house for the whole day now as the night has arrived now we will tumble on the bed so you can see in the picture the three kids after finishing the play outside the house when the night arrived what they did they again came back to the bed and they tumbled so here in the in this in this paragraph they are saying there is no more to be said as we tumbled all day as so we tumble to bed so they are saying now it is time for us to tumble in the bed and go to sleep because it's already night and we have as we have tumbled for the whole day outside the house so now it's time to tumble in the bed and take rest for a while okay it was a very short poem right it was a very short poem now what you all will do you all will read the poem there are only eight lines 1 2 3 4 5 5 6 7 8 8 there are only eight lines so you will read this poem properly and i will send you the question answers in your whatsapp group as this is a very short poem so now today we will discuss the question answers also okay we will discuss the exercise also for this you you can turn the page page number 42 okay tick the correct answer the children spend the day dash how do the children spend the day number a option is jumping and tumbling number b option is sleeping what is the right answer jumping and tumbling their play finishes dash in the morning at night when do they finish their play at night so option b will be the right answer at night the children tumble dash where do the children tumble at night 
in bed so option b will be the right answer option a is on the sofa and option b is in bed so in bed will be the right answer so b answer the following question question number b answer the following question number 1 how do the children spend the day how do the children spend the day the children spend the day by jumping and tumbling the children spend the day by jumping and tumbling number 2 what tells the children that it is time for bed how do the children know that it is time for bed when the night arrives when the night arrives they know that it is now it is the time to go to bed okay so that's all for today my dear students i hope you understood the chapter you will read the poem now after i complete this poem you all will go and read this poem until and unless you are not able to read it fluently so you will read this poem there are some so difficult words also i will send you that also like jumping tumbling you all will learn the spelling of those words also because it will be easy for you to write answers also right because all the answers are um, in, all, in all the answers there is the jumping and tumbling and other words also coming again and again so you all will learn the spellings also you all will read the poem you all can by heart the poem also because it's a very short poem okay now see you all in the next class with a new chapter okay till then be a good student obey your parents do follow your online classes regularly see you all in the next video and till then stay home stay safe and take care of yourself okay